Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies portal once again. We are doing chapter number one, introduction to SCM. The question for today is actually the difference between your CA inter and your CA final. Let's read it out. Out of the following, which are the aspects that traditional cost management fail to address? Now, just before I continue, traditional cost management only says that, how do you get more profit? You get more profit by reducing your cost, controlling your cost, nothing else. It uses cost as a way to be increasing the profit. Lower the cost, better it is, nothing else. Now, in any case, the question, let's continue. So, which are the issues that it failed to address? First, use case of cost information. Obviously, it uses cost information to be reducing the cost. So, therefore, this is one thing that it addresses. Activity-based costing, okay. And third, qualitative aspects of cost management. Now, the four options that are there, 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 2 and 3, and all of 1, 2 and 3. See, first issue, traditional cost management addresses, okay. That is very simple. It does address. In fact, it uses cost only as a base to be controlling the cost, okay. Suppose your material cost is 5 rupees. It tries to be thinking, let's try to control this cost. Let's try to bring it down. So therefore, it's going to be thinking, let's implement, say, standard costing. And uh, we'll try to find out variance. If the variance is adverse, that means we need to be controlling our cost. So try to think somewhat this example. You should have incurred 5 rupees. You incurred 5.5. Traditional cost management will say you have incurred more cost. And therefore, you need to be now cutting down your cost. But some aspects that it might not address are, Suppose your material cost should have been 5, but then it was 5.5. Traditional cost management will say very bad, variance is adverse. But then in today's world, we have something called as strategic cost management, your modern cost management. It says that you might have paid 50 paise more, but then did you use better material? Did it lead to better user experience? Was the customer more satisfied? So therefore, it might happen that you incurred 0.5 rupees more, but then customer was more satisfied. He bought more units, sales increased and profit increased. These are qualitative aspects that traditional cost management never ever considered. So in this case, point number three are qualitative aspects. Qualitative means let's try to do the things beyond numbers. Everything is not about controlling the cost is very good. Sometimes you need to incur more amount of cost to generate more amount of profit. Yeah. So therefore, these are qualitative aspects. Okay. Sometimes you might sell the product at a loss also, but in long run, you might have profit. Might be best example is somewhat like Jio. In first two years, it only incurred losses, but try to see the situation today. Further, Activity-based costing is basically one part of costing that is also called as modern costing. It told that every cost in this world does not relate to machine hours, labor hours, labor cost, material cost, prime cost. It says that every kind of a cost has its unique cost drivers. Example, ordering cost is driven by cost drivers. Setup cost is driven by number of setups. Engineering cost is dependent upon engineering hours. R&D cost is dependent upon R&D R, so on and so forth. But this is one part that your traditional cost management, if you ever want to be thinking, sir, traditional cost management means CA inter chapter of overheads or absorption costing. It basically told, let's try to do, say, allocation, apportionment, reapportionment, and ultimately absorb all the overheads based upon machine hours and labor hours. But every cost in this world is not dependent upon machine hours and labor hours. There are so many aspects also. So this is whatever your modern cost or your strategic cost management does. It considers activity-based costing and it considers qualitative aspects also. So therefore, second and third should be the correct answer because traditional cost management does not talk about them. Yeah, that is the correct one. ICA says traditional cost management also uses cost information to make the decisions, but only considers quantitative information and therefore ignores the qualitative aspects. That's what I told you. Moreover, it assigns the overhead cost to the products using an arbitrary average rate, something like your absorption rate, rather than allocating the overheads to the uh, products using activity-based costing. 
so activity based costing something that came like you know around say 20 or 30 years ago but now we have developed that kind of a thing that every cost is not dependent upon machine hours or labor hours they are dependent upon many other things which are popularly called as cost drivers okay that's it about today's question these questions i am trying to be solving so therefore your brains are conceptually very clear about that why this answer how you need to be thinking about the correct answer. I'll see you all in the next lecture. Bye.